Hello, my name is Jure Petrovic. I'm the leader of the audit team at the University of Zagreb, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computing. And in this video, I'm going to explain the purpose and main functions of audit, our audience response system developed within the active learning through improved interactivity Erasmus Plus project. If I, as a lecturer, activate voting and, for example, select question type votes, I define four possible answers, a maximum of two answers submitted by a user, and activate voting. Then my audience will be presented with an interface like this in their active tab. So four offered answers, a maximum of two answers can be submitted by every user. For example, I can submit answer A and answer B, and those answers are going to be visible in my answers history. As a lecturer, this means that those answers will be visible here. So here I have a votes question type. I have four possible answers. Uh, here in this part of the interface, I can define some settings uh, reg regarding the display. So here I can choose where I want to show the display or I can hide it. I can show it again. I can choose the display type between bar chart and a pie chart. I can choose which answers I want to display. Currently, I'm displaying only the last answer for every user, since there is only one user in the room and their last, their last answer is B. As a lecturer, I only see one B answer. I can change my display answer settings to include all answers, meaning that I have two answers from a total of one user and those answers are A and B.